And I'm going to look at the dynamic simulation option. With the dynamic simulation, you go and specify a start and an end point, specify whether you want the vehicle to travel around the object or not, and Civil Designer will simulate that path. Let's take a closer look at this, selecting dynamic simulation. It's getting a message that we've got to do this in a forward run. So click on OK. Going back to the setup, I think let's take this opportunity to go and select a customized vehicle. Looking at the dimensions and then specifying the simulation direction as forward. Switching off the cargo point. Trying the function again. Specifying the start point. Now I've strategically gone and put in a couple of points. So I'm then again use my grab all snap mode. Clicking on the start point. Specifying which direction for initial movement. So it may be that you wanted to go and put in your vehicle at a certain angle at the start of the simulation. I'm going towards the waypoint. I'm then going to left click there and then go and specify where the actual waypoint is. Reading my prompt, it says, do you want the vehicle to move around an obstacle? In this case, I'm then going to say no. So it runs the forward simulation. Next up, I'm then going to indicate a, another waypoint. But this time, I'm then going to ask Civil Designer to run the vehicle around an object. First, indicating the waypoint. Specifying, yes, I do want the vehicle to run around an obstacle. Indicate the position of the obstacle. And then specifying, I want the vehicle to pass on the right of the obstacle by 300 mils clearance. Doing all the number crunching and then viewing the results. I'm just going to right click and quit. So here I'm using the extremities. I'm just passing my obstacles. There we've got sufficient clearance. Put in full faith in the driver's capabilities and then ending off at that waypoint.